guys in this video i am going to talk about how to handle file processing through bot there are many situation your bot should handle it like for example resume validation or maybe autofill user information or maybe some invoice automation there are different situation you need your bot should handle this file processing here the flow design so from the user they are uploading some business card image our chat bot from there i am uploading this file to the azure data storage once file successfully upload I just pass this URL to Azure Form Recognizer. Form Recognizer extract all the information from the file. So what information you needed from, you can take that information and send this information to the user. So first step, I'm going to upload the file to Azure Data Storage. So second step, Form Recognizer. Let's start. In Bot Composer, I have created a new project called Add Intelligent. So I'm going to add a file upload first. So go to add a new node as question using file or attachment. Here I provide the option, please upload the file. The file information I'm going to store into the own variable called user.info. That's it. Next step will display this information so dot info start the bot open web chat so I just going to upload one business card image once successfully upload we get some information about this image so what type of image this one the URL and uh, the name of the image some other information so the basic step is ready as a user we can able to upload the file the next step we are uploading this file into azure data storage for that i am going to create one custom action In this custom action i am going to pass this content url and the name here i have created one custom action project called bot form recognizer so in composer we have to give the option to pass the URL and the name. So I'm going to add a new property, JSON property. File URL. File URL, next property, file name. file name these two property we have to add in schema file also so i open the schema file just copy paste this one and change the name first property name file url second property name file name title change file url and here file name go back to main class here we are going to read this information so where file URL next file name we'll just check null also next step I'm going to create a new folder called data storage add a new class file called azure storage this class used to upload the file into Azure blob storage. So for that, I have created the blob service client and blob container client. In the constructor, I'm going to pass a connection string where is our blob storage location next to the container name. This class has two functions, one for create container and another one for upload async. 
the create container will check if the container is available or not if the container is not available we are creating the new container otherwise we just exit the next main function is upload function this upload function we are going to pass our file url and the file name the first step i just download this file to the memory stream this memory stream i pass to the uploader sync so the file uploaded into the azure blob storage once successful upload we just return this uri this function i am going to call into our main class go to form a sync recognizer here i am going to pass it so var store equal to new of azure storage add the namespace so i have to pass the connection string and the container name just remove this default code here i just pass two empty string later i will add it so store dot upload async here i've passed the file url next file name so this async wait i have to change this function to async wait here also i change to await this function return the url so that i have to store into one variable called the file location something like this Uh, I have to change the order. So I have to pass the connection string and the container name. For that, I'm going to create a new class settings. You can get this information config file also, but I just pass this information from the file only. So I have, I'm going to create the new class called settings. This is a static class. Here I'm going to define connection string and container name. So just copy and change to here settings dot connection string next container name. So our main code is ready. Before start this application i have to pass the file url and file name also first i have to update the schema file just go to the command prompt so our file url and file name match to the composer project next go to composer add custom action extract form recognizer here you see a file URL and file name property is coming. So we have to pass this URL and name. To get this information, we have to use this variable. So here I'm going to use user.info.content URL. The next one user dot info dot name result we store into user dot result fine this information let it be there start the bot open web chat please upload the file so I'm just going to upload business card image. Here it's uploaded. Next, we'll go to Azure Data Storage and we'll see this image is available or not. So here, my Azure account from their container. I just refresh the container. My container name is bot demo. So I just upload the file, business card image. It's uploaded here. 